Boom, what's up everybody? This is gonna be a little bit of a bonus video because we reached 150 subscribers, so help me uh, grow this little family up to 200 subscribers, which is my next goal. And uh, to celebrate this, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, add metadata with a Digicam to multiple photos all at once to do batch editing of metadata so you can add your copyright information, your location, everything. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the process, how to do it, and you just gotta fill in the, the template with your information, and uh, it, it's pretty easy, straightforward. I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes, so uh, we're gonna start the clock right now. When you're inside Affinity Photo, uh, sorry, Digicam, you can see we have your photos. So I'm gonna check here. I'm gonna go down here to captions. So you can see I have some copyright information on it, but I only have copyright there, Kim Scoggle. And that's gonna be uh, on all of these. But I wanna add my information to all of these. So the way you do it is you go up here to settings, configure Digicam, you go down here to templates you can see I have my here I'm gonna make a new one so we can um, make it from scratch here so you just hit this add button oh sorry you gotta go here first you gotta enter in the details so I'm just gonna Kim there we go and then no copyright no usage no usage without prior writ written agreement with the author that's good for now here you can list your terms for test 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 I'm gonna put a test behind here test just so I know I can delete this afterwards and you can see here you have the source so you just gotta fill these in you gotta fill in your locations say oh yeah. That was the wrong place. I'm gonna put in here Louisiana. Louisiana contact info. Put all your contact info. Here you can add the release forms and all that good stuff. So once you fill this into your desire, you hit this add button. Of course, you gotta enter a, a, a template title. So it's gonna be uh, delete copyright just for me that way I know I can delete it after so you hit add now you can see I have two up here so just hit ok if I now choose let's say I choose all these photos I just mark the first one shift click down to the uh, last one go into batch queue manager now you can see you got all your photos here I'm just gonna use the original album I'm not gonna rename I'm not gonna do uh, any of this other good stuff here but what you want to do you want to go down here to apply metadata template double click it and you can see it shows up or right here you have it here and then you just go on this little drop down box and you choose the uh, the template you just made and then you go run all now you can see it works through it here you can see we're already 60, 7, 80, 90, 100 percent. It goes really quickly. So if I now go here, we can see we have gotten double up because I um, didn't tell it to just save over the other ones. So you can see here now, <clears throat> if we um, if I go back up here, we can choose this one. Now you can see here we have gotten copyright information from there and the owner and my name and so on and it's going to be on every other one of these because this is the first one so that's how you can really simply and easily add copyright information to your uh, photos so if you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give it a thumbs up leave your comments down below this is again this is my favorite program to do a photo managing or you know, file managing, uh, organizing on a uh, computer. It's, it's better than Adobe Bridge. It's better than Lightroom, in my opinion. It's just great. Go check it out. Digicam.org.